How's it going, guys? We're we're back again. I'm going to do another hot take. Um, the first one was kind of like, kind of fun to run through. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of these on card market yet, and the one that we're going to go through seems to be the last relevant one. Um, I'll probably still do the others, but at a glance, this seems to be one that's still probably, you know, it makes sense. Uh, I think the others were like about Mystic Mine and stuff. We'll get to them. Uh, oh, yeah, the 2019 promos. Eh, probably relevant. And Mystic Mine. Okay. Uh, so this one is the ban list filler. And apparently it's a hot take. The last one, I think, was a bad take. Let's see if this is better. Not read it yet. So, the ban list is one of the game's oldest traditions and balancing tools. Mainly a balancing tool, without it, it'd be a hot mess. Time, however, passes relentlessly. Tell me about it. I'm getting aches and pains, I didn't know I could. Uh, while it seems as if it passes by the forbidden list, power creep exists. It's time for us to discuss a myriad of cards Konami could take off the list with little to no impact. Uh, it's an ongoing discussion, I'm pretty sure there's stuff on there that's not uh not gonna be the worst offender it's it's not gonna be too much of a problem top bit's fine it's about right uh we really thought yatagrasu was a broken piece of cardboard for years huh how's the guy doing i mean one we've got a lot of graveyard triggers now at two chaos emperor dragon which would still be pretty ridiculous um has had an errata it's been completely gutted so that was a big piece of the yatter lock it stayed on too long as soon as that errata happened i'm pretty sure we were fine um i think it's going well for him safe to say this one-legged bird with a dislike for hands has become irrelevant over some time seeing no play since it's unbanning i mean yeah the game is a completely different in a completely different situation. Uh, this bit's fair and fine. And like I say, Anorata's happened. Um, if this article's like the last and skimming ahead, I feel like it's going to be a really blatant, obvious answer used to curveball into some dumb stuff. So... Uh, but it's not the only one that fits this description. Just look at Morphin Jar time seal and perform a pal monkey board fair enough like time seal was getting to the point where it was a bit slow anyway morphing jar like flips have to be really detrimental to matter anymore um I, there's a lot of tools to deal with stuff like empty jar as well uh which weren't around at the time and monkey board i don't know enough about pendulums but i think the other half of the offending combo is still on the list among many others, while not as bad as most people think, power creep is one hell of a thing. Yeah, it's, everyone thinks it's turned up to 11. It's, it's, it ebbs and flows. Um, and even Konami has taken to unbanning a lot of filler from the ban list, which currently houses a total of 99 cards. Fair enough. Uh, there's still a bunch of stuff that doesn't need to be in prison. Yeah, uh, depends. Depends what it is. A flip effect monster is relevant in 2022, and before you answer, no, Shadows do not count. I mean, all right. Uh, the last relevant flip strategy we've had was Subterra, uh, which was really Subterra Guru and a dozen floodgates. So, is anyone actually worried about Fiber Jar? Absolutely. Yes. Seriously? No. Yes. Uh, but you can see it can be used as a stall tool. Um, shut up. No, I won't shut up. It's not a stall tool. It's obnoxious. Um, it's used to force draws. That's it. And it's going to be like... It's just better that it's not on there. Because like... Say you're forcing it. You're probably playing something fairly bad anyway. But getting a draw out of a game, you have no right in winning regardless. It's, it's just a malicious tool. It's the same as self-destruct button. Why? Why have it? Um, 
it's way too slow and newsflash mystic mine is a thing that exists right mystic mine you're going for deck out or you're going for a burn you you have a strategy you're not just trying to stall for time or you're playing a deck that can play under mystic mine who basically use it as a six copy of dark ruler no more it, the, it was different fiber jar just resets the game not only did we see Morphin Jar come off with no repercussions, but now the extremely powerful Cyber Jar is unbanned and nobody cares. That's fair enough. Um, if someone wants to try and empty Jar, they're probably going to have a bad time because you're just going to reach in the side deck and it's going to get checked pretty hard. Um, Fiber Jar is just obnoxious. Uh, it's not scary. You're never going to see it at a tiered event. It's it, it does nothing good for the game. Now, this one might be a bit of a wild card, but are we really worried about the Tyrant Neptune? Well, the Liralus card that it can copy is still, um, still legal. Uh, and Supreme King Starving Venom. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to copy Grave Effects. Um, sure, copying grave effects is extremely strong, uh, uh, and they were first turn kill machines. But come on now, we've already had a hyper consistent first turn kill from Morphtronic Telephone, and it's doing little to nothing because it's fragile and can't go second. Seriously, it won't matter. Um, I mean, you can use these as extenders. You can use them. You can use them in so many ways you can turn them into a towers that can attack directly that's completely unaffected <clears throat> because that was like the liralisk payoff um there's there's so much wrong with these uh you, for pendulum um they could play like however many copies of the power card because it was Electromite. It's not currently, but like having six Electrums, kind of dumb. Or like just the myriad of options for I'm going to just copy something in Grave. Uh, the, the, the list goes on. It's too long. Pendulums without heavy metal foes. Uh, Pendulum suck without heavy metal foes Electromite. So Performage plus Fire could come out to play. Yes, we all have PTSD from the Pepe. The, from the time Pepe was absolute insanity. But a lot has changed since then. Uh, Pendulum has probably need some love, but... <sighs> they were a bit poorly designed from the start. Um, I'd say give them Electrum back at this point and see what happens. Um, plush Fire, I'm pretty sure combos with Monkey Board... Like, take your time with it. We don't need, like, broken formats off the off. Um, not only does the deck have less tools, it has uh, has to play around a lot more hand traps. I mean, that's true, but... I mean... I, I don't mind leaking stuff off. It's as long as they're proactive with it. On the topic of Pepe, uh, can we bring back Ptolemaeus? I'm pretty sure this might predate the last list i think it was Ptolemyus that came off uh yeah decks like tiller uh, tillaments could in theory make use of it but get real three extra deck slots for a cyber dragon infinity uh two for a constella Palades. uh extra decks are tight enough right now this wouldn't change anything i swear to god if he says shock master and has a thought combo enablers of old really don't have many you as a thought to say i'm not getting hand trapped this turn Shockmaster is another one of these obnoxious cards like um true king of all calamities or zexel keep no you go away keep them on there past terrors just don't hold up the test of time wind up carriers and matey is no exception just because people aren't doing it doesn't mean that wind up isn't ridiculous in like master duel um 
Having uh, having wind up hunter and Zen matey is probably a no. Uh, get rid of the hunter. Give 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 them the Zen matey. I'm fine with that. Uh, the soul rank three was a blueprint for many a broken X Y Z monster. If I had a penny every time a uh, rank three that could special summon a monster from deck by detaching one material, I'd have three pennies. Do we not notice a common trend with things that can just eat Ellie from the deck? So, Broad Bull, um, Isoldi is still hanging around because it hasn't been properly broken yet, but Halka Fibrax, um, Summon Sark, it's generally, generally an effect that ends up getting the card banned. Uh, Agra Pain is from Extra Deck, like, just... <laughs> The LP from main deck. The stop telling out monsters from from deck. You've had to ban everything near enough that does that. Summon a monster from the deck by detaching one material. I think I've just listed more. Whatever. Uh, which isn't a lot of money, but it's weird that it can happen thrice. Uh, still, if you think wind ups can be a menace in twenty twenty two, you're just coping. With or without Wind Up Hunter, although you probably want to ban this one, hand loops aren't fun. Hand loops aren't fun, but we, we've got like as a thought up here, which as a thought in, in your opponent's turn, and Shock Bust. Uh, surprised he's not brought up Rongo Bongo. Uh, I'm fairly sure Shock Master is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, it, ab it absolutely is. Um, as an honourable mention, I'd like to add the Dragon Rulers. Yes, all of them. No title won't break Mermail. No Redox isn't busted because it's a monster reborn. And Blaster is plain bland. I include them as an honourable mention because Dragon Link is one hell of a deck, but without Chaos Ruler, it's probably... It's probably more than all right. Yeah, um, I would like to see experimentation with the rulers in other mono-type decks. I don't think that means you just open the floodgates immediately. Um, they tend to be pretty strong at a critical mass in solid shells, but I'm open to seeing them back. I've wanted to see them for a while. Um, rank 7's kind of a problem right now, though. Um... They weren't when this article would have been written. But Cash Tear is pretty strong, I hear. I also hear Dragon Rulers like being banished. Let's let's give them Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars as well, and an engine that can abuse it. Maybe. I don't know. I I, I was never around for the Dragon Rulers. I, I stopped playing before they came out and started playing again after they came back. But, same time. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see what they do. Maybe one of each. Just leak them out over the next few ban lists. Put them in quarantine and then, then let them out. Spells. Now, in terms of spells, there's a bunch of continuous ta uh, contentious targets I would like to discuss. Do we really care about Heavy Storm? Yeah, uh, Heavy Storm's... Heavy Storm's pretty good, you know. Um, blowing up your own stuff is is pretty underrated it just takes the kind of deck that wants it to happen and i know i know but i can destroy uh but it can destroy your own cards and benefit from that nah not really yes it can get eldritch spells and traps into the graveyard but do you know what i'd rather do with eldritch spells and traps actually use them sure theoretically it can set a tier limit uh it can send a set to Element Slayer or a virtual world gate, uh, but those plays are only relevant when you're completely bricked. Um, yeah, off the top of my head, because I'm a filthy Unchained scrub, I'm just like, I'd stick Heavy Storm in Unchained. But there's going to be better applications than that, and a lot of these issues are the... straight away, the kind of limit what you can do with with deck design um unchained seriously isn't going to break the meta anytime soon be by having a heavy storm but 
you know, up until recently, rank sevens kind of sucked. Um, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that you've got to kind of have in mind. Um, in a similar vein to Storm, we have Giant Trunade. Konami invented the term Trunade and then forgot this card is mediocre. Again, it's a loop. You can make loops. Yes, it combos with a lot of things like Premature Burial and Symbol of Heritage. Um, but one of those is banned and the other sucks. Uh, you can't really build a crazy combo deck with any cards like this since Trunade is not searchable. The... Yeah and no. Um... It's abusable, again. Uh, and the interactions it has with Pendulum Monsters and Crystal Beasts, among others, would make it make for a fair, uh, fairly interesting playing experience. Crystal Beasts have d don't need too much help. They've, they've been topping semi recently uh, with Conclave Control. Uh, Zombie Master... Uh, Zombie Master and Manticore of Darkness, these were enablers for safe return back in the day. Are we really worried? Oh, safe return? Wait. Hold up. Are you actually joking if you're suggesting safe return? Uh... Oh, a card of safe return. That That's... That's never coming back. That's on the list of forever nope. When a monster special summoned from your graveyard, draw a draw a card. Like no, and it's continuous. I'm pretty sure that can turn a, a fair few decks into just draw your deck. Um, okay, I need someone to tell me why card of safe return would be in unfair at one seriously a non-searchable spell what this stuff searchable now because of thrust um that needs to be going off already with your plays seems plain bad all right i can see how this is a little dated um thrust changes things um Alan Bershin exists as well. Dark Warrior combos. They exist. There's ways. There's means and ways to get to the stuff. Uh, Butterfly Dagger Elmer is another card that just doesn't have anything to do. Elmer is a victim of early design and not really grasping a ones per turn. Yeah, absolutely. Um, image not available. Yeah, well, it's an FTK enabler. Uh, the ability to recycle it infinitely seems busted, right? Okay, so wh what are you going to do with it exactly? Back in the day, it's set up for an Exodia first turn kill with Gear Free, the Iron Knight, and Royal Magical Library. And honestly, if you pull that off in 2022, proud of you. So yeah, you don't really have a lot of options with this busted equip. Again, it's like, you're like... Stuff right now, in the exact moment, might not do anything. I mean, it probably still don't want to just stick crap like that in. Um, because there may well be. But what about future decks? Um, traps, all of them could come off the list with no issues. No. Okay, 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 next sentence, except for sixth sense. Uh, except for the floodgates and except for the sixth sense. Uh, sense. Um, who the hell designed sixth sense? And blah, I can't say it one after the other. Uh, that's a joke. Sixth sense is mid. Are you kidding? Honestly, if this card is viable, I think that's a testament to the health of the format. Slow but powerful traps have been greatly absent. From the game for a long while i think sixth sense is super cool um don't bring it back 
like please know uh i'll quickly grab the uh a quick refresher for myself but i, I know this card is busted uh um Right, so, declare six. If your opponent rolls a si rolls a six-sided die, and if the result is one of those numbers you declared, so you declare two numbers, so you declare five and six, you draw that many cards. If that comes up alone, that's ridiculous. I'm just going to draw a, a whole hand, and they could be filled with hand traps. Otherwise, send that number of cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the result. Ah, oh, milling isn't good, is it? We, we haven't just come out of a format that this was written in because he brought up Tailaments. Where milling was good? Nah. Terrible. Who wants to mill? It's a neg. Um, that's a joke. Sixth sense is mid. Honestly... If this card is viable, I think that that's a testament to the health of the format. Slow but powerful traps have been greatly absent from the game for a long while. I've said this and I commit it to it. <laughs> um, and I believe this powerhouse from ye old Dragon Ruler days would be a fun addition to the card pool. Fun story about last turn. The creator of the semi-popular alternate format Trinity, Mika, uh went missing for like six years only to return with a 14 page essay explaining every minute detail of uh this card and why it's a ruling nightmare did you know that you can start and resolve whole chains in the middle of resolving this card it's actually insane just for that it's not making the list of unbans some sense I've come to realise that Konami has a wicked sense of humour. Tri Brigade is one of the best archetypes we've had in a while, and Tri Brigade Revolt is just a better version of Return from the Different Dimension. Is it? You know it's true. While Revolt only works with Tri types, it actually has a payoff. Return is not only limited to banish monsters, it has a steep life point cost. No one gives a f about life points unless it's the last one. I probably shouldn't have swore. Tom bleep me. But... Th by that logic, it's like... Judgment bad because pay half life points. No. Um, That's a steep life point cost and no real utility during your opponent's turn. Unlike Revolt, which gives you ac access to Shirag, uh, and it interrupts and has a lot of advantage. Originally Trapped Dushu... Oh, don't we even start with Dushu. Originally Trapped Dushu was going to be another unban. And while I still believe it could come off with uh, off the list with no impact, the recent limiting of a pointer made me realise that Konami does not want this kind of card in the game, and I respect that. Um, Just draw, flip that. That hand trap's going to bother me, we'll just get rid of it. That, that board breaker's going to get on my nerves. No, don't want to play around that. Uh, I'll just rip out the only silver bullet you've got and then say good luck in the face of whatever I built. No. No, no, no. No, no. Uh, this isn't a case of, like, Konami doesn't want that kind of gar uh, card in the game. It's that those cards are nuts. Um, and a pointer was just a more balanced dust shoot, which... Lastly, there's Ultimate Offering. This card seems insane on paper when you think about it. Uh, think about what it actually achieves. You come out with a big load of nothing. Obviously, it's a trap, so there's no use in turn one. Not only that, but giving you infinite normal summons isn't really all that useful on its own. Sure, you can get a bunch of stuff onto the field, but what then? Like... Normal summons are good. 
Normal summons can search reactive stuff or do things in the turn when they're summoned. Um, ultimate offering, I'm not like super ragging on the take. Um, I think it's a bit risky. Um, not only that, but giving you infinite summons isn't really all that useful on its own. Sure, you can get a bunch of stuff onto the field, but what then? Uh, you can't really do anything with that. Searching and getting on summon effects is good, but overall, it still sucks. Historically, it was... Right, so I would say... Um, tier, which very clearly this was wrote when Tier was the thing. You, you pop out a Merle. I think it was Merle. I don't know Tears. You, the, the one that summons when you activate an effect, it's a hand trap as well, and then it starts your milling, and then as a result, you may happen to go full combo in your opponent's turn zero. Like, yes, it's slower because it's a trap, but there's, there's application. Normal summoning your opponent's turns kind of rough. He's like, yeah, this makes sense back in the day. Um, historically, it was used in tandem with gadgets uh, to get an infinite conga line of dudes uh, to search each other. Infinite conga line of dudes. This guy, this guy watches MBT. Um, but back then, getting free bodies was much more useful on its own than it is today some naysayers might say but what about flunder ah yeah no flunder they're fine they've got this covered in archetype they don't need it um all the cards are all offering okay yeah uh, at the end of the day i think konami and the community as a whole is overly scared of cards way past their prime uh even if they were good now uh, they'd allow for interesting and fun decks. L nothing, like the vast majority of this this stuff that's been said is not interesting or fun. Um, what do you think? What card do you want to see unbanned most? I'll play. Okay. Uh, what card do I want to see unbanned? Um, oh, I accidentally opened the tab. Uh... Let's have a look at the FNL. All right, Protos can stay. Scythe just got put there. Barrier Statue has Floodgate too. Uh, I think Gofu's pretty rough. I think the Dragon Rulers would be interesting. Uh, what's Dandelion doing now? We're getting a lot of those, those stuff in that vein. Uh... I think Fishborg's rough. The snow came off and went straight back on. Uh, I think Eclipse is a bit much. Um, I thought Gub came off for some reason. Uh, Level Eater, no. Magical Scientist, hell no. Uh, Corinne, I don't know enough about. Masterpiece, hell no. Maxi, forever. Just let it die there. Delete the card. Uh, heart horror. I want to see heart horror back. A hundred percent. I don't think that's going to do anything. We can have a nice, nice little toss reunion format. It's yeah. That the dragon rulers leaked slowly. Um, maybe denuta frogs now that. Um, Elf is gone. Uh, a lot of this is... Yeah, no. Um, people say Victory Dragon. Nah. Nah, it's kind of pointless. Um, Norden's pretty rough. Colossus is rough, but I know Moz wants it. Um, the links are all pretty nasty. Electrum. Maybe Electrum. Uh, see what Pen can do with it. Uh, Goblin and Mermaid, noop. No, no. Uh, Aurora Don can, can rest in piss. Um, 
stick of seeing that combo and i always will be gumbla hell no union carrier i love this card definitely deserves to be there uh denglong apparently it's too much but i'm interested uh ib is insane like no one gives this any thought unless you saw what it did uh tempest magician is an ftk enabler is there really anything else um wow X zen matey yeah ban hunter give him zen matey um dryden i do not understand this like i think barbo was the zeus enabler so i don't know maybe i didn't get the point we're not going to go through all the spells uh i miss reboot i really miss reboot um all in all the traps are pretty toxic as well um yeah so i'd say summon it up uh give them zen matey back take hunter off them um i'd be curious to tr see deng long um give them back electromite see what pendulum do give give frogs the the ability to frog again and see what happens uh dragon rulers very slow leak out and give heart back just for tom screw moz keep colossus there it's obnoxious but yeah um i think that's been a really long and rambly discussion about this so if anything it got me talking let's see if it gets any of you talking what would you like to see back uh stick it in the comments like comment subscribe tell your friends hit the bell icon um check the channel out and thank you for watching namaste fuckers we'll see you next time